Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the Windows 11 start button and also the start menu. In this video, we're gonna use a program called Start All Back and I'm gonna show you all the features that you can use in that software to customize your start menu and as I've said, your start button. But before doing anything, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by CopKeys.com. CopKeys is an official platform selling official Microsoft keys, game keys for Steam, Origin, and PlayStation. They now have a great Black Friday offer for the Windows 10 Pro license key. You can use the coupon code TB65 for a 65% discount on the Windows 10 license. After you apply the coupon, the price will be only $15. To activate the license, go into settings and activation. Click on change product key, paste the license, and in a few seconds, your Windows will be activated. You can use this license to upgrade or to activate Windows 11 also. Check out copkeys.com at the link below and use the promo code TB65 for a 65% discount. So first of all, let's download Start All Back. You're going to have in the article down below two links. The first link will be for the Start All Back 3.09 beta version, which has a whole bunch of new features, but also you're going to have the official link to Start All Back. Be aware that this program is a free trial program and you can use it for free for 30 days and of course if you like the program and uh, you want to use it more you can decide to purchase a license just a quick note this video is not sponsored by start all back so in this video i'm just going to show you the useful features that this software can bring you for this video i downloaded the beta version i have it on my desktop here just open it up basically when you start the installation the changes will be made so you have to select whether you want to install this only for your user or you want it to be installed for everyone you can uh, click on install only only for me so other users that are using your computer won't be bothered by this application and as you can see the application has a really nice interface we have a few tabs in the left side in this video we will most likely use the first three tabs the app can also help you restore the windows 10 or windows 7 uh, ribbon and you can also have other options but as i've said we're just gonna work with the start menu and the start button first of all you're gonna have to select the theme to apply so let's uh, select proper windows 11 basically as you can see this will have a round start menu and taskbar elements, corner taskbar icons, and new command bar in Windows Explorer. And this is, I think, really useful. It is really similar to the Windows 7 one. In my opinion, the Windows 7 start menu was better and it was more useful. You also have the recent items here and um, some quick access icons and um, features to Windows and of course the shutdown or restart options. If you're using the Kina 10 theme, you're going to see that the whole taskbar will be changed a bit. You have a um, Windows 10-ish taskbar and also start menu and you have also the remastered 7 which will bring you the old Windows 7 taskbar and Windows 11 which looks pretty pretty good but in my opinion I do like the proper 11 taskbar because as you can see it also has a few changes to the icons in the taskbar and I do like it. Let's now go to the start menu and as you can see in the start menu you have a whole bunch of options which you can customize regarding all programs you can use large icons and you can display as flat menu Windows XP style and all that in the general tab these are all selected and you can also personalize the search the right side items so for example if you want to show the network just click on the link here and when you open you're gonna see the network here for example let's put the videos here you're gonna see videos this is really cool and as you can see this is completely responsive if you add more items here the start menu will just expand its size and this is really really good you can also change the visual style the icon size and the item count that will be displayed on your taskbar this is really, really nice. And if you ever want to go back to the default values, just click on set default values and everything will be reset to the original theme that we selected before. Regarding the taskbar, we have other options. And here again, we can change the visual style, the icon size and the icon margins, which is really, really cool. As you can see, we can have a more compact taskbar, which looks really good in my opinion. We can change the start menu button. So for example, this one, I really like this one, looks pretty good. And you also have some tweak behavior and superpowers where it says combine taskbar buttons. You can click on never and you can have the never 
combine option in Windows 11, which is a very nice feature that I loved in Windows 10. I always used my Windows 11 taskbar with a never combine option enabled. So that is really cool. You can also center the icons if you want them centered as they are by default in Windows 11. You can also segment them as you can see, as I showed you in a previous video, we have the segment option, which looks kind of good. But in my opinion, this looks way better. And also you have some quick links to the taskbar settings in Windows 11 and notification area icons. In my opinion, start all back. This software is really, really good. So I strongly recommend you try it. Of course, try it at your own risk because any program that allows you to customize Windows comes with a little bit of a risk. But if you know what you're doing, you should not have any issues. So this is start all back. Don't forget that the download links will be in the article down below in the description. And let me know down below in the comments what what do you think about this software and if you find it useful or not this was the video for today i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day